the man to watch. Following a hat-trick, does he have another big performance in him this time? Stay with us on EA TV. Well, they say it never stops raining in Manchester. That is true today as we welcome you to the Etihad Stadium for this match. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City up against Watford. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Gaia in the fullback positions. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And the starting 11 for Watford. Well, it's a fairly standard 4-4-2, which you don't see that often, but it does have its strength, particularly with the front two they've got playing today. They're both good players. And they kick off here. Simone Scoufet. It's with Andrade. Clark. Andrade with it. Right over to Alex Scott. Alex, tell us all about the goal that's gone in at Turf Moor. It's a goal for Leicester City. They've scored the open up with three minutes played. Absolutely no messing around here. What a start, Derek. Thank you, Alex. Asking a lot of any player, quite honestly, to score from that position. Well, I don't need to say too much about that, do I, Derek? De Bruyne. Well, how do you get around and in behind a City defence that happens to be the best in the league, Stuart? Well, they've been so solid at the back, whether it's in front of their own fans or away from home. I think it comes down to communication. They're just so well drilled and organised. Hopefully for the neutrals, they do concede the first one today. Lombardi. And threading it through. He's blocked it. Good looking move. Must be. Well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. So for Watford, you have to conclude everything went to plan in their win against Burnley. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, they were so clinical in front of goal, weren't they? But what I liked was seeing how disappointed they were to concede that goal. Today, I can't see them... Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Brilliantly blocked. And over comes the corner. Making sure nothing came of it. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, it was Brighton that were awarded the penalty. The power that he managed to generate on that one straight into the bottom corner. It's now 1-0 with 23 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. And he takes on the shot. Well, hit on the volley. Terrific strike. Well, it's a very difficult technique, but I actually think he should be scoring there. Nicolas Gonzalez. City move it forward with purpose. Well, 
the supporters think it's on. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Put in by De Bruyne. Gardner. Nathan Broadhead. It's with Andrade. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Well, I'm hearing something important has happened in the Burnley game. Exactly what? Alex Scott will tell us. It's a goal for Burnley. They're back level. It's one all with 39 minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Trying to open up the defence. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. Holland. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. A oh, nice ball over the top. So half time here, and the two teams cannot be separated. Your assessment of City's performance so far, Stuart? Well, that's another solid defensive display. We talked about it before the game. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And a goal to tell you about at St James's Park, but for which team? Let's find out by joining Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Fulham. They've scored the opener here with 47 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, in some style, Ederson prevents a goal. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Well, the danger is still there. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, I think he's still got a few years left in him. He still looks fit and sharp and still has that desire. What a good signing this could be. Nice weight on the pass. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, as you can see, it's been all Watford in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. A change in the offing for City. And played short. An alert piece of defending. Nathan Broadhead and a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up it's Manchester City taking on Leicester City can he take advantage? well strong play here Holland. this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity 
De Bruyne. It's there for him. Right, what's happening at the London Stadium? I believe there's been a goal there. Alex? It's a goal for West Ham. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. It's now 1-0 with 72 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. That's a good-looking ball. A good and fair challenge. And a throw-in here for Watford. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Might really be able to trouble them here. Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. Can he finish here? Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Watford facing West Ham United. Crossed into the penalty area. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. And a goal has gone in in the Nottingham Forest match. Alex Scott has all the details. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. They've pulled one back with 85 minutes played. What a fascinating matchup we have here today, Derek. Thanks for the update, Alex. And snuffed out the danger immediately. And it's positive from Manchester City. Is it in the cards for them to score a late winner? So the final whistle, and at the end of the game, they simply couldn't be separated. A draw it is from the City angle. What did you think? Well, as we've come to expect, defensively they were excellent again. They just worked so hard to stop the opposition having time on the ball. However, they didn't really pose enough of a threat going the other way. 